it's not just the construction that occurs, although we had, I think, an exceptional construction company that we worked with. It's, uh, it's all the people leading up to it. Um, you know, the mayor and council for their vision, uh, for their support to approve the funding, the planning department, our legal staff led by Frank Cassidy and his team, always doing uh, exceptional work, engineering, finance. It's all those people that you don't see that bring us up to this day. And uh, I do want to acknowledge and, uh, and thank them for their support. At this point, I, I do want to uh, recognize our elected officials that are here today. Uh, we really appreciate uh, their vision and them approving for us to pursue really great projects like this. Our vice mayor, Mr. John Post. John? Thank you, John. John, you brought a member of the family I see with you. Well, Parks and Recreation, we think four-legged family members need to come, too. So thank you for being here, sir. Uh, Patty, Patty Comerford, is Patty here? Okay. Uh, Mr. John Officer, John? <laughs> Roxanne Ziegler, Roxanne? Okay. Mr. David Bowen, David, thank you, David, for being here. <laughs> and Mr. Herb Kai, thank you, Herb, for being here this morning. Another special group of people who um, are really unsung, um, a lot of volunteer hours, uh, they really deserve to be recognized, and that's our, our Town Planning Commission. Um, I, I'd like you to raise your hand if you're a Planning Commissioner, if you made it here. Tom, Tom, thank you very much, Tom, for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, Don Duncan, I don't think Don made it, but we want to recognize Don. Sarah Tyson, Ron Hill, Rich Miller, and um, Terry uh, Sherman, and uh, these folks really do an exceptional job, and uh, we appreciate you coming out this morning, Tom. Thank you very much. I think when you work for the town of Marana, um, it really is. It's, uh, it's not superficial comments. It's real. There's a real sense of team, um, I think, through the elected officials, through senior staff. Uh, our town manager, uh, Jamshid Mehta, is doing a very important task today. He's sending his daughter off to university. He couldn't be here. Uh, but we want to thank Jamshid for his leadership and support. And uh, I also want to recognize our deputy town manager, uh, who's also uh, a great leader and gives us great support and guidance all the time. That's Mr. Eric Montague. I saw Eric earlier. Is Eric over there? Thank you, Eric. A couple people behind the scenes uh, that I'd like to recognize, uh, and I, I'm not sure if they made it here this morning. Uh, Diane Magliardi, I don't know if Diane made it this morning. I'm sure she's busy taking care of things. And Linda Darnell, well, I want to thank those ladies. They're, uh, as I said, they're people behind the scene, but they also work in the town manager's office, and we appreciate their contribution. Uh, there's someone who I know isn't here today. But I want to recognize, um, when he hired me about a year ago, uh, we talked about this project. Uh, we talked about a lot of parks projects and, you know, what he wanted to see built and uh, was actually a couple of great two, three hour discussions we had. And that's Mr. Uh, Gilbert Davison, who was the town manager. Um, and Gilbert had a lot of vision for this project. Uh, at night here, what's really cool, in addition to the, to the dancing fountains, which you're going to see, when we do our demonstration, it's absolutely exquisite at night. We have optics, so we have colored lights that shoot up into the water. And we're going to be open days for the kids to enjoy, and teens, and anybody else that wants to get wet, uh, between 8 in the morning and 7 at night, so for 11 hours. And then from 7 to 9, we're gonna, it's going to be a, basically a piece of art in the park, where the water will be on and the lights will be shining into it. And uh, last night, uh, Kevin Goodrich, who is our aquatics coordinator, sent me a text at about 9.30, which is like the middle of the night for me. You know, I mean, okay, it's one of the kids. I know something's wrong. Um, but it was of the lights, and uh, absolutely beautiful. I know it's a holiday weekend. I know some of you might be getting out of town, but in the next couple of weeks, swing by and take a look at this place at night. I mean, it, it really is special. So. This will be going 13 hours a day, seven days a week. Just you know, to give you an idea of what we're looking at as far as once, it's, once we fire this up today, 
Um, and I think that goes to service. Uh, and I know, um, you know, I think there again, it goes right through our leadership, uh, is we all talk about service. What's the best service we can provide our citizens? And I think you're going to hear a little bit more about that from a speaker later in the program. Um, I'd like to now recognize the our team for engineering that worked on this project. Uh, our project manager, Mac Murray. Thank you for your good work. Mac is in the back. I'd also like to recognize our construction inspector, Gus Lippens. Gus is next to uh, Mac in the back. Thank you. Gus was on the site every day. We, we appreciate the dedication and hard work. And, and also, Mac, thank you for all your work. Uh, we had a, a few uh, tweaks. Um, and they, they weren't easy tweaks. We made a couple big changes uh, early in the project. And uh, I really appreciated uh, the support we got to make those changes. Because my philosophy was, even though if it delayed the project a couple months, Park and recreation facilities, like auto facilities, will serve the community for 35 or 40 years. So if we can make a change that might delay it a month, but have a great product, why not? I mean, think about having your family here in this Ramada, and the splash pad is on, and you, and you also have the playground there. I mean, this is going to be a pretty outstanding parks and recreation situation. Uh, the other project that's going to happen fairly soon, actually in the next two weeks, is this basketball court over here is going to be covered. That's about 10,000 square foot pad, which is just about the size of a high school gymnasium, just to kind of put it in perspective, without the bleachers. High school gymnasiums go up to about, about 12,000 because they have the, the bleachers that they have to accommodate, 13,000. But we're going to have a structure that's going to be approximately 10,000 square feet. It's a solar project that's going to cover that entire area. So, you know, between the covered basketball court, splash pad, and the playground, uh, you know, for those of you that were here last year during 4th of July, uh, that was an event we had 12 to 15,000 people in this park. And um, we're going to have red and blue lights that night on the fountain. We'll have a covered basketball court in the afternoon when it's really hot and we still have people here. So these amenities are going to really, in a big way, expand our ability to serve people and for people to, to use and enjoy the park. And uh, speaking of two people who, who were really open-minded when we uh, came up with some suggestions, I wanted to recognize Keith Bram, the uh, Director of Engineering, and Jennifer Kristelman, the Deputy Director. I don't know if they're here this morning, but I want to thank them for their support because uh, they were with us all the way, and uh, it was appreciated. The folks that built the facility, our general contractor, was Cap Capcon Construction. Um, they're a great team. They were uh, a solid group. As I said, we had challenges in this project right up to the end. Um, very problem-solving, orientated team uh, led by their owner, uh, Nate Kapler. Nate's in the back, owner-operator. Nate, give a shout there. And uh, the other individual um, who really just did... Uh, I mean, for those of you who are sports fans, this guy is a running back that you would give the ball 35 times to, and he would just keep going, and that's Mike Evans. Uh, Mike, was, uh, Mike was a construction superintendent. Um, those of you, and a lot of you, were at the opening of Tangerine Sky a couple of weeks ago, and we talked about the good job superintendent that we had on that, on that park construction. Well, no exception here. We had equally that same level of professionalism and focus in Mike Evans. Uh, on, set, on Friday night, on Friday we still had a problem uh, with the facility. We had some plumbing parts overnighted from Atlanta. Mike had them delivered to his home and was out here on his hands and knees all day Saturday. And about 2 o'clock, uh, we fired it up. And uh, Houston, we had blast off. It was great. So uh, thank you, Mike, for your good work. It was appreciated.
And the administrative assistant, executive assistant, was Anna McFerrin. I, I believe she's here today with us, too. Anna, thank you very much. You did a good job keeping the rest of us in line. I, I you know, so thank you, Anna. Uh, and Anna was responsible for a lot of the, uh, like the banner there in the building. I mean, I thought we really had some nice, uh, uh, some nice visuals for people. And anyway, she did lots of stuff. So thank you, Anna. We appreciate all the administrative support. Uh, 3M Engineering. 3M Engineering was involved in the uh, design of our mechanical building. Now our mechanical building is the building that's right there closest to the splash pad very sophisticated plumbing systems and it's there's also this is also fired up with computers so it's really a high-end combination of pretty sophisticated plumbing combined with with IT stuff so um, not simple I mean it's not our, our grandfather's swimming pool I mean this is this is pretty sophisticated stuff and I want to recognize the M3 engineering team Eric Manuel, I saw Eric earlier. Eric, structural engineer. Eric, thanks for being here. The architectural designer, I saw Steve earlier, Steve Doherty. Steve's in the back. Steve, thank you. The mechanical engineer in the project, Ron Russell. Ron, thanks for your good work. We appreciate it. The landscape architecture firm uh, was McGann and Associates. Uh, Don McGann has been a long time, well established, very capable landscape architect here in town. I'd like to recognize Don, who's the principal owner. Don, I saw him earlier. Thank you, Don. Thanks for being here. And Scott Martinez, part of Don's team. I believe Scott's here as well. Thanks, Scott. You know, these are folks that we work on other projects with, too, so it's always nice when we get the band back together on different projects. Speaking of that, Aqua Design. Um, Aqua Design International is a Tucson firm. It's another one of those uh, Tucson gems. They do great international work. I had the pleasure of working with uh, Dave uh, Ackland before. Dave is a uh, is a partner and owner. Dave's in the front row and uh, really one of the leading authorities in aquatics probably in the country. Thanks for being here, Dave, and the work that you did. Woo! Dave's partner, uh, Ken Paulson, couldn't be here today. Ken was the primary person that we worked with on this project, and he did the, the design. And we want to recognize and thank him for his work. But uh, between Dave and Ken, it's really a Cracker Jack outfit. Um, Billy Sassy from the city of Tucson is in the front row, and I think between Billy and Dave, um, they might, I don't know if you guys should be at the same place together, because if one of you get hurt, you know, because there's not more knowledge in the aquatics world than, uh, than these two gentlemen. We appreciate you being here today. From the Parks and Recreation Department, I'd like to recognize our Deputy Director, D. Tyrell McGurk. Thank you, D, for your good work in the project. I'd also like to recognize our Park Superintendent, Dave Herman. David. Dave did something that I want to bring to your attention. Um, this area behind me had turf before, but like everything else, it has its own specialty. I don't care what it is. And, and basically, the turf that we had in there really wasn't well suited. If you take a look at the amount of shade that this gets, um, you need a you need a turf you need a turf that's going to grow in shade and those are the type of details when you're building a facility like this or any park facility you need to have that expertise and understanding and this is called Tiff Grand and Tiff Grand what's really great about Tiff Grand there's only about six weeks out of the year that it won't be green so I want to thank Dave for his good how many square feet Dave do we put in uh, this is about four thousand. About 4,000 square feet. But thank you, Dave, for your good work. I think from a landscape and visually for people that are going to rent this facility, we think that this grass is just going to really, really soften it up. The other thing that we're going to do down here with our communications folks is we're going to do movies. Um, so, you know, with the lights in the background and the, uh, the fountains, and we'll do movies where people can sit on the grass. It's just really created a nice, usable space. And there again, end of the day, it goes back to service and providing better service. Uh, Kevin Goodrich. Kevin is our recreation coordinator that oversees aquatics. Where's Kevin? It's Kevin. Yeah. 
Now, Kevin's the guy that we're going to give the keys to the car to. <laughs> Kevin's, gonna, Kevin's the person that's going to be running this every day. Uh, really great employee, and he's been uh, he's been pretty excited. So uh, I know he's he's fired up. He and Dee are going to give you a demonstration here in just a minute. Actually, we're going to fire this thing up for you a little bit. Uh, Rene Romero, he's boots on the ground here every day in the park, and he's probably busy right now tending to a ball field. But I wanted to recognize Rene because. Uh, He's our guy here every day that not only does a great job maintenance-wise, but he also does a great job customer service-wise. And I know he's out there working because I find him working all the time. But thank you, Renee. Appreciate it. I'd also like to uh, recognize uh, my team in Blue Shirts, uh, Ranger and Parks and Recreation. I'm very fortunate to have a great group of people that I work with every day. I said to my wife this morning, I said, we have the team, we're in the team jersey today. And she just, you know, 37 years. She looked at me and said, you need lipstick. And walked away. <laughs> I don't know, you know, you, get, you know, it's, it's cute though, honey. Yeah. <laughs> so we talked about hours of operation. We talked about the optics feature. We talked about the uh, covered basketball court. I think uh, the kids are taste of the facility and the 13 hours that it's going to be open for people to enjoy. Um, I think at this point uh, I'd like to introduce one of our leaders and a person, uh, another person in a big way that uh, is the reason why we're here today in his support and that's our Vice Mayor, Mr. John Post. John?